hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you another demo of a spring boot application so this is a, a policy provider portal and that is a spring boot application for the backend it's using hibernate with mysql so before dive into the demo uh, let's talk about the technology and framework that we are using in this project so as you can see we are using a spring sts tool to manage the as an ID uh, to deploy the application, it's using Tomcat server. You can use simple like a Spring Boot integrated server as well. And it's following the MBC architecture to manage the uh, like resources. And obviously, it's a Maven project, so form.xml is there to manage all the dependencies. And we have we have different different like uh, portals are there, like different different packages are there and now let's move to the database and check how the database is working over there so we have a policy provider portal here in this portal we have a user table ticket table and all the required tables are there if you notice in the, the user table we have some records existing records that denotes to the user so user one always will be as an admin and other user will be as a customer so let's say you are an insurance company so this user will be admin for that company and other will be for the for as a customer how can you how can we divide this thing so you can see the role id one so whenever you see a record with role id one it will be treat as an admin and other will be as a end user okay now uh, let's run the project so if you are going to take this project from code one so we will uh, stop like we will share the complete source code with you also we provide the remote support so configure and run the project at your machine and after the configuration you will get the project in this state so after that what you need to do to run this project so follow me uh, to get the next step and run the application so if you see this is my runner file where you can say application policy provider portal application or java just right click on the application this class and go to run as and click on the run as run you can run it as an server you can run it as an spring boot app as well okay so i'm going to run it now and if you see my server is going to start now and uh, okay if you notice here the server tomcat started at 8080 port number now next step you have to go into this file application dot property and you just need to copy this name so open your browser and enter localhost 8080 and the project name that you see in here so i'm just going to copy this name and enter this name hit the enter button automatically application will deploy over your browser okay now let's check the functionality and flow of the application how the flows are working so this is your welcome page or you can see the home page and at the home page you will see one slider some uh, static content over the website and then you will see the about us page and the contact us page uh, whenever you're going to fill this contact us page this might be a dummy page or let me see yeah this kind of dummy page okay now we have other options sign up and the sign in so in the sign in as i told you uh, as as we discussed earlier we have only two users one is admin and another is user so under the sign up option if i'm a new customer and i want to register into the portal i can fill up this form and i can register as a new user let's say i fill up this form so to save the time i'm using autofiller so it's automatically fill my data for me and i click on the save button so user data is saved successfully the name name is zeddy lda when i refresh my user table you can see the new entry with the name Z Z E L D A is recorded there okay now let's log in as an admin and check what admin can perform there so i just click on the sign in button enter the username for the admin which is available here into the database and the password for this admin i copy this password and i enter this password click on sign in option 
so again we have a home page user list like as an admin uh, i can check all the users all the customers that are available in the portal also we have option to search by first name email id let's say i want to search some customer by their email id so i can enter the email id here and click on the search the data will be filtered according to the options here we have option to search by first name so let's say i enter the first name here and hit the search button it will filter the data accordingly again i can reset it from here we have a next and previous options here once the data will be reach more than 10 records in the table then the second option next button will be never okay so as an insurance company or admin what i can do i can add a new policy so let's say i want to add a policy for the life and uh, i'm gonna again let's policy name new one price let's say six nine eight enter the duration let's say three year Rate of interest, let's say 6.5. Rating is 5. Renewal date, um, let's say renewal date into the renewal date for the policy. So let's say first uh, 01, 01 2022. And here we need to enter some description about it. I'm using just dummy data. You can enter the manual data if you want. So next option we have under the policy module is a policy list in the policy list i can check all the available policies in my system in this portal so these are the this is a new policy that we added just in this page we have an option to search a policy by its name by category by rate of interest so we can filter the data accordingly if i want to delete any existing policy i think i can just check this checkbox and hit the delete button the policy will be deleted can see it's gone now another option we have a edit option so under the edit option i can edit the records and the policy will be edited accordingly so the same policy is edited now let's add a new policy that's going to help us in the further flow so let's say new policy save okay the new policy is there now when I go to purchase policy I can see the list of policies that are purchased by the customers okay as an as admin I can check these things also I can search per policy by name or by first name other option we have a tickets in case any customers share any inquiry or any tickets I can check the tickets here as an admin also i can edit it and i can add the comment there and other option we have a term and, con term and condition if as an admin i want to add a, any term and conditions so you can uh, i can add it so new term and this is the description click on the save i can check the list here i can edit my record i can delete my term and condition and here we have a feedback page if user are going to enter any feedback that thing will be displayed here other option we have my profile change password these are the common things for all the projects so i'm going to log out now as an admin and going to log in as a user so let's log in as a new customer that we recently added <clears throat> so this is the username for this uh, customer and here we have a password this password for this customer and click on the sign in button as I log in as a uh, customer, I can see categories. So we have a different categories here, life categories, health categories, vehicle or electronics that is added by the admin. So I can select any policy in this category. Let's say I click on the life. So I will get this category into the life. Let's say I click on the health. I will see the data only for the health category. If I click on the electronics, I will see the data. Currently data is not available for the electronics. So it's not showing any data when you click on the vehicle and the vehicle section we have this policies that is I can share here when I click on the compare uh, so we need at least two categories uh, two policies for the comparison so we can compare the policies as well I will show you that later 
and uh, okay we have some policies here so let's select two policy and click on the compare when i click two policy and click on the compare i can check all the records here like it has a three-year policy health vehicle and other options are there we have apply option so directly i can apply for the policy from here and we have other option also to perform to apply for the policy let's say i'm a user i'm a new customer and i want to apply for this policy so i click on this action icon i click on the apply button i need to just fill up these details and click on a save and these are the payment things so i can pay this amount and policy apply successfully Currently, this project is running at a local host, so we are not using any kind of real payment database. So this is the dummy payment process uh, that we are using here. <clears throat> Under the My Policy section, now you will see this data that is just uh, apply or just I have buy the policy. Now, as the same customer, if I'm going to buy this policy again, it will show the policy is buy by you already. So you have already bought this policy. So a single customer can, cannot buy the po single policy again and again. So this is a valid check over there. And uh, under the my policy, I can check the policies. You can compare the policies. You can, as a customer, you can add a feedback from here. This feedback will display to the admin user. And add ticket in case of any issue. I can add a new ticket. The ticket will be displayed to again to the uh, like uh, admin user also I can perform the crude operation here search edit delete uh, operations are there some aesthetic thing profile chain password is there most important things we have a notification here in case of any renewal or according to the time period you, the customer will get the notification okay when I hit the logout log option it will automatically redirect to me to the login page okay so that's it about the policy provider portal in Spring Boot and Hibernate. Again, I'm going to discuss about the technology to manage the backend. It's using a Spring Boot to manage the server side things. It's using a Spring Boot and to manage the backend, it's using Hibernate with uh, MySQL and to manage the front end, it's using JSP, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap things. And if you need the source code, you can contact us over the WhatsApp, over the Gmail or you can ping us directly over the Skype. So we are available to share the code with you. We are available to explain the code flow, internal code thing to you. And we are available to configure and run the project at your machine. So in case of any query, uh, you can feel free to contact us. And our support team always be available to answer you. Thank you.